Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I am out on my property bringing you the November 2022 reading for all of our water signs out there. So hello, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> All right, so normally I like to do a live chat, but we are in the middle of moving into and setting up our homestead out here. So I had to do a little pre-recorded, but we're still going to have a lot of fun. I mean, soak it up, soak it in all of the beauty that is out here. All right, so I have my decks. Let's go ahead and dive in. So I have my Wally's World Oracle here. If you're interested, the link for it is down below. But I like to look to Wally to uh, see what our theme is going to be. So let's see what the theme is going to be for November 2022. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the cows are moving in the distance. We have free range out here, so cows are just like passing by like whatevs. <laughs> okay. Looks like we have our theme card. I'm going to go ahead and put these away. <laughs> Actually, while I was thinking of the cows, I was also thinking of the wild horses that we have out here. And this is indeed a horse. Um, and I do believe the name of this particular horse is Charlie Horse. Uh, this is an image that uh, Sherry Bug D, who is uh, one of my moderators, uh, she helped submit this image for this um, deck. But let's dive into this one and see what this means for our water signs, November 2022. Two things, water signs. This month is going to be about perspective and also what you use in order to raise yourself up. So when we're ever in a down place or a dark place. What are some of the things that you do in order to pick yourself back up? Some people turn to exercise, some people go into meditation, some people use crystals, some people decide to do a little reading for themselves in order to pick themselves back up. Some people go into retail therapy, um, but this is a time to really look into the things that you use in order to pick yourself back up. And are they still useful? Are they the best thing for your energy? Um, and getting you into a better frame of mind, but also perspective. Um, so depending on the things that we use to bring ourselves back up, that also has a influence on our perspective. So let's say whenever we're feeling down, we turn to alcohol in order to feel better about ourselves. Well, in an alcoholic state or a inebriated state, we're definitely going to have a different perspective of the world. Now, remember, everything is a learning experience, so I'm not condemning alcohol. I love to have myself a glass of wine here and there, but we need to look at why we utilize these things because these things are just things until we give meaning to them, until we use them for a particular purpose. Wine is just wine. <laughs> it's just going to be there, or actually it's just a bunch of grapes till somebody turns it into wine, and then it's how I utilize that wine you know, that gives it a, a particular energy and meaning. So that's that's our theme for the month. So let's take a look at uh, my Herb Crafters Tarot that I have here. And I want to take a look at the general reading, the general energy for our Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And then we'll take a look at the individual signs, all right? So let me pull a few cards here and try not to lose them down this hole here because I'm actually sitting on a bunch of sandstone. Um, from the, uh, what's left over from, this used to be lakefront property, uh, a long time ago, hundreds of years ago. And so what's left is the sand has turned to sandstone and that takes a very long time to do. Oh, all right. Card two. So I thought this very ancient and magical place would be a wonderful place for your guys' reading. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have the Eight of Earth, turmeric. I love myself turmeric. Um, like a haldi dude. A haldi dude is like one of my favorite drinks. Ten of Earth, horsetail. Interesting. Okay, two Earth cards, and you guys are water signs. And then we have the Devil, blackberry. Ooh, blackberry pie. 
<laughs> okay, so let's dive into this one. So technically, it's the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and El Diablo. All right, the devil. So let's dive into this one. Okay, it, again, I think this is that perspective change uh, or taking a look at your perspective when I, I pulled the theme card for the month. When we do, when, a lot of the things that we do, we do it for our families or to start a family, right? And the 3D way of doing that would be to make sure that you have a, a good paying job that's got a good 401k and has great health care, um, good pediatric care if you have children. And we look at all these 3D things in order to create the stability for our family or in order to create the foundation to create a family. But with this perspective change, it's time to look at a different way of supporting your family members, looking at a different way of creating a family. Um, you know, it could involve pets, it could involve other animals, it could involve your community as all part of your family. This beautiful place that I'm living in, many of the Diné, the Navajo used to live here hundreds of years ago. And as a community, were they all related? No, but they were all considered family. And so maybe it's time to rethink what family is for you. And so when we want to build up our families and when we want to give to our families, we have to look at what we're using to raise that up. Is it money? Is it a high paying job? Is it a beautiful 401k? Is it a sports car? You know, what, what is that? And we have to look at the energy behind it and how we are affecting that energy um, that we put into it of those things that were really just things with without us. And Speaking we have- Speaking of things, look at that glow rock. Oh, wow. You guys check this out. Oh, wow. Hold on. Let me mm -hmm. get this in the sun there. Oh, look at that. We call these glow stones. Um, I don't know. They're like a mixture of maybe calcite, quartz, maybe agate. And gosh, they're so beautiful. And so, yeah, just this just being on the ground, this is just a rock. But what energy would I be putting into this rock that gives it the meaning that it um, changes the energy around me? So something to take a look at. All right, let's actually take a look at what the individual signs have to say. So let's let's look at our Pisces friends. You know, my, my aunt, one of my aunts is a Pisces. She's pretty cool. She actually has some property out here in Arizona somewhere i don't know she says she hasn't seen it since like the 90s or something it was just like you know her and her late husband were like uh let's just get some some property just to say we have some property somewhere <laughs> all right so pisces what do you have cooked up for november 2022 all right this beautiful rune here um to me is all about the daybreak, the dawning, and also balance. But let's see what that means for our little Piscean friends. Really what I'm getting from this energy is creation. In the Mayan belief, one of the day signs called Akbal, and that's actually my day sign, is considered the first sunrise you know it's it's creation it's new possibilities it's it's a beginning and taking a look at with this kind of higher perspective of the things that we choose to help build ourselves up and also to help build up our families we have to look at how that energy has possibly affected things positively and also negatively. Because if we can't see the light in the dark in everything, even within ourselves, especially within ourselves, then we'll never understand why things happen to us. Why did that uh, occur? Why did that come into my reality? Why am I feeling blocked here? But why do things feel easier here? It's looking at the light in the dark of everything that you choose to have into your reality 
And so if the things that you're choosing to bring yourself up when you're in a low place is having more of a negative effect on your energy than a positive effect, then we know some changes need to take place. And we also want to know why. Why are you using that energy um, or that particular thing, you know, its energy? And so with our families, if you're wanting to raise them up in a particular way, you know, sending them money, like that's how I say I love you to my family, I want to send them money. Well, then we have to look at the positive and the negative of that. And then if we find out, wow, there's a lot more negative actually in it than there is positive because there, you know, some people don't, don't, money means nothing to them. It's spending quality time that means the most to them. And so if I'm showering them with money, it's like, I'd, like I'm not there at all. So it's time to rework that, see where that's actually stemming from. And maybe we want to change it up. All right, Pisces. So now... Let's go into Ooh, cancer. Okay, cancer. You know, I have actually a lot of cancer somewhere in my chart. It's not in my sun, moon, or my rising. I'm actually a Scorpio rising, but um, there's a lot of little cancer energy around there floating around. <laughs> I know it's in my Venus. It's in Mars. It's in a lot of different places. Okay. All right. We have... Or not Fehu, um, off the top of my head, I, I just forgot, but I know what this means. <laughs> so let's just, I mean, what is in a name really? I mean, even our spirit guides, they could care less what name we give them. It's all about energy. So let's dive into this one. Mm. Okay, Cancer. With all the messages that we've had so far about, you know, looking at the things that we use to help build ourselves up when we're feeling low, gaining perspective, um, you know, working on, um, well, <laughs> how we work for things, how, how we, you know, create family and, you know, all of that. Um, this is all about Following your guidance, even when it seems counterintuitive, <laughs> or uh, as the 3D mind might say, it's illogical, highly illogical. Um, let's say you want to, um, I want to be able to create a loving home for my family, a place that they could come to, come live if they want to. And I put, and this is uh, actually very similar to what I was saying for the earth sign. So you might want to check out the earth signs reading, putting a restriction on that. I'm saying that it can only look a certain way because that's what my little, my little lizard brain, my little 3D brain says is the only way. And in 3D, yes, I would be correct. It's, it's highly logical, but we know that there's more going on. There's more than meets the eye. So tapping into your intuition, following your inner guidance. What does it say to do? Where does it lead you next? And maybe your 3D brain won't be able to figure it out. It's like, well, why would I do that? That doesn't make sense. Why would I go that way? Why would I do that for them? That doesn't make any sense. How is that ever going to lead to blah, 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 blah. And this is where trust comes in. So Cancer, this is all about trust. <laughs> um, and I know many Cancers may have a um, problem with that, with that hard outer exterior that many of you have. Um, you're just going to have to trust the universe. You're going to have to trust yourself, your higher self that has the best and highest good, the best of intentions for you. I know for some reason we always rely on the ego for our best and highest good, but it's just a program that only knows the past and that's the only way it could determine what to do in the present. Um, but it has no intuition. That's why we have an intuition. So time to utilize that intuition cancer <laughs> and let it lead you where it needs to lead you. Okay. So let's take a look at Scorpio. All right, my little Scorpions. Uh, <laughs> And now I was thinking of the group, you know, the 80s group, the Scorpions. Here I am, rock you like a hurricane. All right. So, ooh. 
we have the bull or the ox. So let's dive into this one. All right, Scorpio, it's time to start, especially you Scorpio, start looking at the things that you use to raise yourself up, give you perspective, make you feel better, how you want to shower affection, you know, with your friends and your family uh, and your extended family it doesn't necessarily always mean your bloodlines. Remember that community um, involves everyone and how some of those things are actually negatively affecting. They're having the opposite effect. So if you're using something in order to bring yourself up or you're buying something or, or whatever it may be to raise yourself up, but it may be having the opposite effect. And so the ego wants to try to do more, more, more and try to raise up. It's like, why isn't it working? I must have to do more. And that's not the thing. <laughs> and that's the signal that it's not working because it's not the best thing for you. Um, but also for a family, you know, if you're feeling like I want to, I want to do this for them and it's just seems impossible or it's getting too difficult to do it could be because that's not the best thing for them and it's again time to reevaluate things maybe you know the way that you've always done things is just not it's it's not time for those things anymore because we evolve and change so everything energetically has to evolve and change as well all right so i want to take a look at with my angels and ancestors deck possible opportunity and a possible block that Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio might come across. Okay. All right. And... Good. Okay, so let's take a look at the possible block first because we want to look at how to transmute it or how to get around it or overcome it. So we have the High Priest intend and create all right so this one actually seems pretty simple with the things that you're trying to create for family or you want to give for family um, or create a family um, we have to look at the intention behind it is the intention behind creating a family merely because society says that you have to have you know 2.5 kids and a dog. I don't, what is a half a kid, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, is, is that the intention? Um, is it the intention that, um, well, I, I just, I want to pass on, you know, my family traditions. So I want to have a baby to do that. Or um, because I don't want to be alone when I'm older and I want my children to take care of me. So that's my intention for a family. Um, or the th reason you want to give to your family is it because maybe somewhere and we're getting into shadows here but water signs you guys can handle it is it because you feel guilty in some way and so you want to make up for some things that you feel were wrong in the past and so you want to shower them with abundance in the present you know um, are you trying to make up for things so we have to look at what the intention is behind the things that you're wanting to create and if you find that you're running into roadblocks it might be because the intention is not totally aligned with the energy that you're actually trying to create all right so this is where we need to look at the core beliefs we need to start looking into the shadows and shadows are coming up a lot right now uh, especially because in the northern hemisphere we're rolling into winter so this is the time when a lot of things you know around here start to go dormant many plants start to go dormant the sap in the trees starts to go back down into the roots it's a time for rejuvenation healing uh finding what worked and what didn't this past season and now we're going forwards so there's that so let's take a look at an opportunity we have summer bask in joy and light all right so this is enjoying all the little things that you have right now right in front of you sure maybe you don't have this yet and you don't have that yet and you don't have that yet but what are the things that you do have right now you know if you are looking at 
um, let's say uh, creating a home that eventually someday family can come live at with you, but you don't have it yet. Let's bask in the fact that you do have a loving family and that you have a family to love and that you have people that care about you and that you feel just immense joy in their presence and that they feel joy in your presence. Let's bask in that. You know, maybe I don't, you know, I'm, uh, I don't have a million dollars. Oh yeah, well, I know, I know for sure that I have a 1994 penny in my pocket because we found it earlier. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Sorry, James found it earlier. <laughs> we were making a joke because 1994. Anyway, so, you know, I have a really cool penny in my pocket. Maybe I don't have a million dollars, but it was fun and I have to think about what we were doing at that time when he found that penny. So let's bask in those little things because if we can't bask in the little things, how will we ever enjoy the things that we are actually like looking for that we can't wait for? Um, because then it'll just be we're on to the next thing to the next thing. I won't be happy until, I won't be happy until, well, then you'll just never be happy. So the opportunities are there and let's get into those because it also helps to shift our energy as well, which makes it easier to bring in the things that we want. So, <laughs> all right, you guys. So that is the reading for November, 2024 for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click the ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. All of my information is down below. If you want to check out my other offerings, other readings, maybe Desert Cauldron, Leon Mystery School, newsletter, all of that jazz is down below. Definitely go check it out. And I also want to thank my patrons and my YouTube members. Without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you guys so very much. All right. I'm wishing you a beautiful November, whether you're spending time with family or whatever you got planned for November. I'm wishing you all the best. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.